Yo, 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 people from the interwebs and anywhere out there in the world where this might reach or whatever. Um, so I guess I haven't been making an actual update of me explaining anything, just uh, mainly short clips that I pull from my story on Instagram and upload on YouTube because apparently short clips do better. Anyway, um... I guess quite a bit has happened here, so what I'm doing today is I'm going to paint this transmission gray engine color, GM gray, engine gray, I need to go buy a can of that, a couple cans of the engine gray, because <clears throat> that's the transmission for this truck. So everything escalated, like usually with projects like this, um... The guy had brought the engine from the truck through a rod, so he had another engine in the back, which is the second engine, ended up being locked up as well, and it had uh, coolant in the cylinder. So we're thinking somewhere down the line it uh, heated up, or maybe he says that it was running when they put it in the back of the truck, maybe when it froze, something, but it was locked up. The fucking, excuse me, French... The spark plugs were all rusted. So he ended up getting this 350, which I ran the numbers here and it's out of like a pickup. And uh, it's from 69 to 80. And um, well, obviously we cleaned it all up, painted it and got it ready because this guy wants it all to look like it was just stock so i took this had headers and chrome valve covers and we took all that off and put this shit i was having a problem yesterday with the flex plate that came with the other transmission because it's been a fucking like a mix match because he doesn't want the transmission that came with the truck he wanted the transmission that came on the engine that was uh frozen with a coolant in the cylinder so i had to take the apart this one and it turns out that the flex plate for the one that had the transmission we're using was i just realized i haven't checked if the torque converter from the transmission we're using bolts onto this i should have checked that which I think should be easy to check if I line up the other flex plate to it. The problem with the other one was that the diameter of the crankshaft was too small on this other engine. As you can see here. This was the one that was supposed to go on there, but was um, locked up with water in it. And then this one was the one that if you somewhere on the other side you could see that I threw a rod and like made a hole in the pan but you can see here how that uh crankshaft that came with that one the transmission is way smaller than the diameter on this one so that was pretty much the issue yesterday and I thought I was gonna have to go buy it because it looks like it was the same transmission but I checked anyway just in case and it was true so that's cool he saved some sort of money by having me take it apart instead of buying the other one. I couldn't find the other flex plate. I have to look for it. I got new motor mounts. Um, they're in the car. And we went at this pretty good with purple power and whatever. I don't know if he's going to want to paint it. But at least some sort of degreasing because it was disgusting. I guess um, all the oil it threw from throwing a fucking rod through a pan. That's pretty much the only part of the frame that has a bunch of grease. Like everything else looks pretty desert clean. So, yeah. It's coming along pretty all right. Just been, I'm probably going to sandblast it a little bit there. Just gotta cover some stuff. I don't know if he was gonna wanna paint it. That's another thing. 
on this um the honda shadow crashed honda shadow update i've actually got pretty close already to having it i have the carburetor took apart right now and what's holding me back is i'm waiting for the kit i don't know if you guys know this but this came with a like fail safe pet cock that has a vacuum and that's like the number one thing that people delete on these Honda Shadows because it actually got recalled. It was only ran like for three years. I think 2007 was the last year. This is a 2006. It did have it, but the customer had already took it off. So I'm going to cancel the vacuum line. I got to do that next and then uh, just shave. If I was them, I'm going to leave everything, but I'm going to not have it plugged in because I'm going to have it as if it's running with the smog delete mod. Which is just like kind of like old Chevy or something. If you want to delete the smog, just plug up all the vacuums. And then anything that's not coolant or fuel, you don't need. So it's all covered. I have plastic in there. And I just put the rag on it because it's been raining. The battery's dead. I um, ordered these cables. And the brand new master cylinder. And the brakes are, the brakes are bled. The customer asked me to straighten the wheel, but I am going to have to give him a liability statement when I return the bike and said, you know, you're trying to save by straightening the wheel. I did it for you, but I don't believe it's road safe. <laughs> like if I'm asked in court, if your fucking son dies, it's not my fault or some shit, right? I don't know. I'm sorry, but got to think, keep things how they are. But now nah, I don't know. I don't know if it's in a wobble over 60. I'm going to test drive the bike fast. Once I finish, and then I'll let that dude know if um, if it's good or whatever, you know. This is this, uh, the one I took off, the master cylinder. See how it's all bent? It's locked up. And then this, you can see how they slit on the pavement for a good grip. I took them out. It grinded it. So, yeah. Pretty much the update here. The square body I've been using, if you see the short clips that I uploaded, I've been using the square body here to uh, move around stuff. It's working good. I put the bumper, the rear bumper, I had to make the brackets and stuff, and that's a bumper I had laying around. And that used to be on that white 67, and uh, I got left over for scrap because they put a roll pen on it, but it was straight enough for this for me to run, and I got to paint the bottom plate. I'm going to take the bumper off again when I paint the and primer the truck. I just wanted to make the brackets. I still got some Mickey Mouse shit going on here. Uh, from how the other brackets were for the original bumper that came with. I actually ripped off, excuse me, when I was uh, towing it here. Excuse me. Yeah, and it's, oh fuck, it's super flat today. Tires, the front tires ain't shit. I just put them on because they're the the right uh, sidewall profile. And I wanted to see which size I need to make the truck look how it is. But that's it right there. See, because the back ones are fatter, but it doesn't matter. I just want the sidewall profile to look more or less the same. So it looks almost like if they're the same tires. And the back it just had some fucking fats. Big and little, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is exactly... To me, the perfect stance for a fucking square body. You don't need any other wheels. You don't need nothing. You need the rallies, offsets, stagger eight and sevens. With like some fat 50 series tires and some low pros up front. Bump slam, static, C-notch.